Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Idol Stand Nation, a channel that's dedicated to helping you discover new songs, artists, and groups to love. Whether you just got to K-pop today or for the past 20 years, we'll help you discover something new to love. Yeah, I think it's the one that, uh, this is the part that the three of us are kind of dreading oh, moving on no. to. <laughs> I didn't uh, want us to do this. Alright, so for this so, um, next topic, <laughs> <laughs> should I introduce it? Cause Please. <laughs> go ahead. So, I, all you. <laughs> I believe it was two days ago, Eyes One released the Japanese music video. They haven't released the album for Vampire. It's a Japanese release, the third release, before a third Japanese, or oh, Korean comeback, but this is the third Japanese comeback. So, uh, wow. I have mixed feelings but you know do you want to start with the mixed or do you want to start with your guys' feelings about the <laughs> music video okay i would oh. i would start with yours <laughs> mine i don't know i mean i guess it's because aura's got the more positive um i mean if it's mixed then he's got more positive <laughs> that's <laughs> I, I, true i, I that's think we better be ended on some more positive Gina. so okay so for myself um let me just preface this with Again, this is our um, personal feelings, right? Um, we're not mm -hmm. trying to tell anyone or convince anyone to, f to think the same way that we do. But for myself, it's entirely negative. Um, so, I won't say entirely negative, because at least the music video was, was good this time around. It wasn't at the same uh, train wreck as Buenos Aires was, as far as like the music video, like the video part itself. But the song is still very much as much of a train wreck. Actually, I want to say it's, it's even a bit more of a train wreck with the with the vocal mixing. So again, the problem isn't with the with the members' vocals, like their own personal talents. It's whoever is mixing the song and you know taking it in this in this direction. The um, the producer, my goodness, I I, I don't even want to. Was it? It's uh, Akimoto Yasushi, right? Yep, Akimoto Yasushi. Uh, so, I, like I like right from the very beginning, like right, where where they're going, like like hey. It's almost like sounded like like a group of amateurs trying to like harmonize just from how badly they they, they mixed it and mm -hmm. you know I'm just like I know they're capable of doing much better than this but it's it's the way that the so the, the sound engineer mixed it to sound like they're a bunch of amateurs um, I almost I found myself almost getting angry so mm -hmm. and you you guys like you guys know me right like I I, I never I never like like get angry at, at a song or i never no. like hate any anybody right like i almost found myself like almost hating uh aki p uh, uh, like for the song <laughs> so uh oh, fun sorry. fact uh i remember a few years ago uh people got really mad when uh like there was a rumor that aki i think it was a rumor i don't remember but this was a really long time ago that Aki P was going to do one of BTS's Japanese songs or whatever, and people got mad, <laughs> like uh, mad. Uh, yeah. So I I don't blame you. Yeah, and so you know, don't don't get me wrong to you. Like, don't, don't let this be the representative of all uh, J-pop. No. And oh, yeah. don't think that all Japanese people love this style of music because so as as I was reading through some of the Japanese comments, um, a lot of the Japanese uh, uh, commenters agree agree with us. One of the more uh, civil comments that, that I read, uh, it, he, this guy pretty much agree, agree, like agrees with me. Like he likes the concept, he likes the video, but those vocals and I don't so um, I don't know if he was talking about like. If, if he was mean to intend like their actual vocals of the performers um if he did then he's you know mistaken it's just whoever mixed the vocals mm -hmm. but yeah and he he said like the vocals are just no good and uh one of the more critical comments that i read was i want to say akimoto yasushi should stop writing uh songs and and, and quit but if it wasn't for him uh they wouldn't be getting as much uh, promotions, media promotions. So right. that person was obviously very conflicted as, as well. Yeah. And there, there was a lot more very harsh uh, comments as well from the, the Japanese uh, commenters. Right. So. So, 
Okay. My... This song is, in my opinion, more <laughs> of a train that. wreck. <laughs> more of a train wreck than Buenos Aires. Well, so you can you can change that to our opinion because I'm I'm with you on that. <laughs> and uh. okay, so <laughs> myself and Ji Hoon are of the opinion that this is more of a train wreck than Buenos Aires. The yeah. first time I listened to this, I found myself just I, I think i said it probably 70 times i was like okay now the bass drops no, now there's bass uh where's the bass right like i i i i usually don't listen with this with an equalizer on because i usually just use it uh when i'm like even now i'm recording i'm using an equalizer for my headphones to equalize out the bass and make it sound good but I had to listen to this with a bass equalizer on <laughs> just to make the sound so I basically had to remix the song myself <laughs> to make to make this sound halfway decent and yeah like you were talking about that that hey run yeah. that they do yeah I, when I when I felt it coming I I almost I almost muted the song I, I've never done that in my life I actually stopped it uh, at that point just to like recollect myself I'm like and like kind of think to myself like okay do i really want to go through with watching the rest of this and they're 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 vocal types there's only a few of them in that that could actually pull off that kind of a run and you don't put the ones with high vocal timbers on that run you just don't do it well, you take the high ends out and they well they layered it towards the front too so it's more present they also did also i don't know if you guys heard this i don't know what you guys were using to listen to this on they're inside of the song the way they the way they have it mixed, there is a slight differentiation where it favors the left ear more than the right ear. Really? So, I so yeah, I heard I heard it, and I was like, oh no. So so thank you for that because that brings me to a theory that I was talking to Oro about. Um, I have a theory that whoever sound mixed it did it so that it would be optimized for smartphone speakers or really crappy headphones. I think you're right. Because I think they, I think they seriously did it to cater towards the one year, the low, like low uh, end, um, like, low, the the low end budget listening devices. Yeah, I think, I think you're completely right. Because I played it, so not trying to brag here, but I have a like a high end audio system, right? I, I was listening to it on my audio system out in in the living room, and everything, everything, all the details, like you can hear it, you can pick up on it in bad ways, like you can pick up on all the bad details. But when I played it off of my my you know my smartphone, it actually sounded a lot better. This because yeah, I did the I did the same thing, huh. right? So I played off my smartphone. I was like, I was like, if I listened to this on my smartphone the first time, and I didn't listen through it through my headphones, I would have I might have actually liked the song. Like the like audio wise, the the sound it it does sound better, but the song is still, I st- yeah I still wouldn't have liked it. <laughs> and I mean honestly. Like, you guys were talking about how the concept is like, <laughs> aura. <laughs> you guys were talking about how the concept is like, you know, the concept is fine. Yeah. In my opinion, the concept is not okay. <laughs> really. So it con- the concept is kind of cringe. I'm it, not gonna lie. I mean, you know, in catering to the the Japanese market where they like a lot more cutesy stuff, like the vampire Lolita concept. Yeah. Especially leading up to Halloween coming up. I I, I don't think it was a misstep. I think. I think it it would have worked for Japan anyway. It's just not so much for international audience. Right. And I mean honestly, I think it could have worked better had they laid it out better. I think it would have worked better if we just had a better song and better sound <laughs> mixing. Uh, I I think you're also right. So, so um, the, the, we 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 need to we need to to move it on to Aura. Aura, please. <laughs> dude save us <laughs> so i i've got to agree <laughs> so with like uh, okay the music video i actually really liked i also really liked the dance so because i also watched the music station version and to be honest okay. the music station version actually sounds a lot better than the music video <laughs> <laughs> i'll watch that after this okay um yeah I because need to check it, that do- out. it doesn't use as much mixing as the music okay. video um okay but it I will say it does cater to the higher notes, like everybody with a higher tone voice. Right. So right, you don't like so you don't exactly hear like the differentiatings and I also know that some of the girls who have like a lower tone, lower voice, 
ha- like ten- you know yeah they 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 have it seems like they're having a harder time to reach those notes and i think that's part of the reason why it becomes so much more hot less pleasurable to hear i guess um <laughs> but oh so so it was really noticeable that um like yana was a uh, her she had like a lot of vocal strain yeah yeah you you could tell that there was a lot of vocal strain like especially oh. like uh hey one too I felt like she mm. she had trouble uh, hitting those notes, but yeah, that makes sense because this song should be now. I obviously I'm not Yena's vocal coach or anything, but um, based on her voice type, that should be like right around her falsetto range, mm-hmm. like right at the flip. <laughs> yeah, and <sighs> that's something that I think Akimoto really doesn't take into account. Uh, after I want to say. 2013 2014 because he i don't think he's really gotten to know the girls and really gotten to mm, like really try to cater to their skills because he's not only writing songs for them he's also writing it for his i don't know how many groups of the 48 family (laughs) but he's doing he's doing so many songs at a time Mm mm-hmm so he's not really catering to everyone's skill and just kind of generalizing everything. And that's probably one of the biggest problems is that he's overgeneralizing Eyes One. And overgeneralizing, but biased towards the high. Well, because again, that's, that is a, a very uh, distinct part of the Japanese music scene is that they favor those uh, high notes so much, high vocals. Well, not only that, but um, most of the groups are high, higher uh, vocal tones because like most of AKB's family is all younger girls, you know? So. Yeah, and it goes with the Japanese. They, they really do, like cute. Like that's... Uh, kawaii uh, culture yeah right? they that's such a big uh important part of japanese uh pop culture and especially among their um idol culture mm-hmm. but so naturally it's going to go favor towards the higher uh higher pitch yeah but like if i'd say <laughs> if he the like if the vocal range and everything else was at a lower tone i think it would be a lot better for to listen to and obviously if there was less mixing because i also feel like uh, after a lot of the original AKB members left, of the main like groups, uh, left, uh, Akimoto has been having a lot of problems, and also after a bunch of scandals that happened in 2013, 2014, uh, he's been kind of like back and forth between experimenting and also playing it safe. So that's yeah, because um, mm-hmm. we we had talked about it before. Was it uh, yesterday? Two so, because like I was really getting, I was getting really critical of, of Aki P um, in the chat with uh, Aura, mm-hmm. and um, was it when Aura you show you showed me one of, the, one of the older music videos from like 2012 yeah. that he had written, yeah. and it was one that I, I was like, oh, so I can actually this is actually a, a decent song mm-hmm. from Aki P, because I was about to just say outright say like I just hate his music, you know? Yeah. But after that, like okay. I can I can back off a bit and be like, current Occupy, I'm not a fan of his style of music. Take me back to 2012, <laughs> and let's see him go further back into that direction. Yeah, you know, it, it he's playing it safe, and I can see why just because of everything that's happened to AKB in the past few years. They've they're not as popular anymore, I, I, which I hate to say. I think. Well, I think he needs to re- redefine uh, playing it safe. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Oof. <laughs> um, oh no! But uh, don't say it, that. I like I I rewatched uh. Vampire a few times. Also, like just the lyrics themselves. Lyrics very much conflict with the concept because you know I watched it like five or six times myself, and I couldn't even pay attention to the lyrics, like to the like. And you know, like I do that, right? Like you know, I focus in on, on vocals and lyrics, but like the vocals were just so, like the mixing of the vocals was just so yeah. distracting for me, and I just couldn't focus in. And you know, like you thought, you thought, even you or you talked about the um, the dance choreography and whatnot. I couldn't even see that. Like I, I was just oh no, it was such a struggle for me, and I because I was really, really trying to understand 
this song like understand what are they trying to do with it like the, the technical aspects of like it, where what are they trying to go with this like why are they mixing it this way and for the life of me i just i just can't figure it so, out uh, so uh it it it's, it's a very conflicting music video uh because the dance the imagery every like i love their costumes it was done really well each of the girls actions were done beautifully the cg the it wasn't too much cg it was just the right amount and it conveyed like a dark mysterious kind of feel for the music video video itself not the music and uh the thunderstorm apparently in your background is agreeing with me um <laughs> uh but no it's it the entire music video is meant to convey like a mysterious kind of vibe but the song itself is kind of a bright the like chords and whatnot it felt made it feel right. like it was a little bit brighter but the lyrics were also a problem too because it was a i get it felt like when i was reading the lyrics because i don't speak japanese completely fully and whatever um it felt like it was conveying a des- their own desire for someone when in most like media vampires are made where other people desire them like uh i mean like uh i can't even think of any off the top of my head well like if no if so i know there's like a bunch of um japanese anime out there that have like that type of theme yeah um yeah. i'm not too familiar but I, mean, I know I know that's out there. I know uh, I, I not have an idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, not uh, not just Japanese, but like Western, like if you, with Dracula and whatnot, how he's portrayed as or how vampires are portrayed, they're like very handsome, very desirable. Where like regular people would desire those kinds of like beings because of how attractive they are in modern okay. in modern media. But right. this flips it where it's the vampire that desires the regular people which i found see, really weird see like your 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 ex- your explanation of the song and the music video um really makes me wish i could i could like understand the song better so i could like appreciate all that because that's all really intriguing stuff so uh, and I, I would love to be able to talk to talk you know uh, like yeah have a conversation with you about about all those intricacies but i, I can't which know. is fine but like it, it's just stuff yeah. that i thought i should put out there it's it's a weird combination because like how the video itself is kind of portraying things it's making it so we're that de- where we the regular people would desire eyes one because they're the they're the temptresses they're the vampires but it's not a and it should be a more like if they lowered the t- like tones made everything more of the vocal ranges of the girls and made it where they were more of the temptresses i think that this song would have been done so much better and more people would be into it especially yeah. because it would fit like the theme it would fit the time because it is coming up on halloween soon it's only like a month and a half away <laughs> um, yeah. and yeah it's it it would just fit everything overall a lot better if rkp actually focused on the girls talents rather than generalizing them now and yeah. if so cuz he pulled it off really well when with the music video i showed you with uh uza yep so that's my two cents yeah so um i know I know I, I harped on the music video a lot, or on the song itself a lot, um, as a dick. Uh, I know we called it a, a train wreck and all, but as always, check it out for yourself. But, and by all means, feel free to disagree with us. Um, we're not the authorities on anything, so um, this is merely our opinions, and it's all agree to disagree if you disagree with us. So try, I tried my best to end that on a positive note. Um, <laughs> Before before moving on, um, did anybody have anything else they want to add on to that before we move on? Watch it with an open mind. Watch it with an open Please. mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, 
Nick, you want to go ahead and take in, bring in the next one? <laughs>